Hello. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to come on and uh, just talk about how uh, it's interesting how certain things can be interpreted as being like political or something like in movies or, or books when that was never the case. Um, like the person who made it didn't intend for something to be political and you might wonder what, what brought this on um, and uh, what brought it on was somebody you know commented on my Dark Knight Rises video about uh, the 10th anniversary and how basically you know essentially the, the film you know there were certain political things like with um, rich equals bad though you know, the film itself isn't really political at all in nature. Um, um, and how, like, the rich people are bad is something that's sort of within the whole Batman world. Um, with Gotham, you know, there's a lot of rich and wealthy people, but then there's many people who are poor or middle class who, you know, they should get uh, more yet don't, uh, for one reason or another, and as a result, you know, there's a lot of criminal activities, and so those people are able to be fine, in a sense, from what they do, you know, what they do isn't really good, um, and that's something that's, we've, that's been seen in the, all three of those films, or at least particularly the first and the last film of that trilogy. I guess not so much in the dark night, but it's, I guess it's kind of there somewhere. Um, and, um, you know, there's just kind of got me thinking about stuff. And <clears throat> I know this might be more of a movie thing to talk about on, like, for movies and such, but I guess this could be just for really anything. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people who, in a way, they just kind of talk about stuff like you know, politics, or put politics in things, and yet, when you really look at what they say, or going about things, like how, you know, the stuff with politics, like, they don't, some people are just not the most informed, or they're in some sort of echo chamber, and so what they say and regurgitate reflects that, and I guess everybody, in a sense, to a degree, is within an echo chamber anyway, politically, um, but sometimes things get looked at as being politicized when that's not the case. Like The Dark Knight Rises or those films, you know, people are like, you know, like, like whatever one's political views are, like if one is left-leaning, a certain movie you might have a left-leaning stance. If one's right-leaning, well then that same movie will have a right-leaning stance for sort of reasons that you could find and then have your own politics to it. And I guess also in the middle somewhere. Um, and, you know, and I don't talk about politics much because, you know, that's not fun. Um, the only time I ever said anything is like back in 2016 with who I wasn't going to vote for. And, you know, like I... Not for... Then, of course, it's like, cool oh, that I mean, you're automatically voting for the other person. And, well, there's other candidates, though. I guess, you know... <clears throat> reality is, you know, uh, third party, you know, third parties don't seem to really have much of a chance. Uh, it's, it really is a two-party system, and it really can't be broken. You know, things were changed, um, and things would, they, they would just wouldn't be functioning uh, as they do now. And, you know, you can say that things are t totally all together now sense of getting um, certain people into positions of power who could do good, might do bad or whatever. But, you know, even though people might be like, well, change this or that, that could be, that could fix things. Well, sometimes those kind of changes can be worse. You know, theoretically certain things might sound good. You know, yeah, write it down on paper. Good, great. But then, of course, the action of uh, following through and doing said 
plan that was written out can oftentimes also be bad. And of course, it can be good too, but you know, in various ways, you know, in various circumstances, things are, you know, they might be written out so well that it's just bleh. And, um, you know, with the stuff with movies that I talk about, it might have political stuff or, you know, of, of anything poli pol poli politics being a big thing in it, or it can be uh, at least inferred or whatever. I don't really talk about that stuff much with those movies because why bother? Um, though that stuff might not be all that important in terms of like the po politics of it. You know, that might have nothing really to talk do to, with the film as a whole. Might be a little part of it, but the whole grand scheme of everything that you know that isn't something that should be heavily talked about. Um, I know I talked about Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, and it's about politics. Um, but I like how in that film, you know, you never knew who was where. You didn't, never knew who was a Democrat and who was a Republican. I mean, I guess you could infer, like, you know, Jefferson Smith was a Republican because James Stewart was a Republican, and so was Frank Capra. They were both very conservative people. Um, and I mentioned how, you know... Uh, Mankiewicz, uh, Herman J. Mankiewicz in the film Mank, you know, how the politics of that aren't completely the most accurate because, you know, he was a conservative, he was a very conservative person, disliked socialism and especially what was going on in uh, Germany at that time, what was going on with Jewish people, obviously, and so he would not really be sympathetic at all to, uh, you know, the socialist stuff that's in uh, the film of Mank, like with Upton Sinclair and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, that's just addressing certain things that were not really correct. You know, just trying to set certain things straight with that film and with reality and liberties taken. And, um, and overall, Ma Mank itself is a fine film. Not the best film from David Fincher, but it's fine. The performances were excellent, though, in that film, so that's always a plus. You know, same with uh, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. James Stewart was excellent, um, as was Claude Rains, and for all we know, Claude Rains was also like a Republican. You know, the two of them could be in the same political party, but we don't know. You know, we don't know. You know, can guess or infer, I guess, but because it's not stated one way or another, you don't really know. And, um, you know, stuff like that, you know, uh, there's stuff with politics and things like that, and th those kind of movies have never been the, the thing I've been the biggest uh, uh, fan of, but, I mean, there are those who are, that are very good. Um, but, you know, those are the ones and stuff that's, like, politically, you know, charged and motivated, you know. I don't know, like... You know, th those are the movies that would really have, if there's any sort of, like, agenda or wanted to have something put out politically with a certain leaning, that'd be one thing. Uh, but other movies, like The Dark Knight Rises, for instance, you know, there's stuff that, you know... Um, People will look at it and they say that's like left wing stuff or that's right wing stuff, and people will have their uh, reasons for that. Um, I try not to look at stuff like that because I don't think that's a great way to view stuff. Um, of course, you know there are people who <clears throat> do incorporate political stuff within their films, but you know these days that seems to be something that's kind of lost, um, and sometimes. So that stuff might be misguided because, you know, the media might, you know, misinform people. And so when people make certain movies with a certain political message, the media could be, like, be lying to people. 
and then when the truth comes out, and then after people have seen this movie, what this certain agenda politicized it, and in a movie that perhaps never needed it, like it could have been a good movie on its own without a political message or some social message behind it. Um, you know, because of that, it was like um, you're just kind of like wondering, was that really necessary? Especially if time goes on, like you know, maybe weeks or months later, that this thing that was then incorporated into this film or whatever, it turns out that was not the case, or it was wrong, or it was, the truth was twisted, and so, you know, then the film might not age the best as a result, you know, especially if the film's political and or social messaging was very up front and in your face and not subtle at all. Um, it's stuff like that, you know, if you're going to have a message of sorts in your movie, you know, it's best to be subtle about it overall, especially with stuff like in non-political and or socially conscious type films. You know, if you're going to have a messaging of that sort, make sure it's as um, subtle as possible. You know, subtle that it takes people like the many times watching it because you know the movie hopefully will be good that people want to watch it over and over and as time goes on you see something new maybe then you catch on to whatever the person who made it is trying to say about you know whatever it is whatever some sort of issue or politics or whatever the case may be they're trying to have a comment on this you know and those kind of stuff can have actually a long-lasting impact. Um, again, perhaps some of those messages could also be uh, maybe misguided in the sense like you know, facts um, don't completely um, line up with what the film is saying. Like you know, it could be misinterpreted like this because of how it was depicted by the the news and the media and all this. So would the people made the film, the little stuff that was in there, you know, it's there obviously, but then, you know, perhaps as time goes on, you know, you re-look at whatever it is, and then you look and see, like, oh, well, that's not totally the case here, but, you know, you can still enjoy the film because the messaging was not in your face, and it wasn't obnoxious, and the movie itself is good. Um, but, yeah, I just, like, you know, how... Certain stuff in entertainment gets shoved in people's faces, you know. That's not fun. That's not good. Um, but, you know, that. of course, if you say, like, I'm not going to vote for somebody, that doesn't always necessarily mean you're going to vote for the exact opposite person, regardless of whoever the political party is. Like, you know, I'm not going to vote for this Democratic candidate. Well, does that mean you're going to vote for the Republican? Not necessarily. And I'm going to not voting for the Republican, you're going to vote for the Democrat, not necessarily. I mean, there's other choices you can make, though <clears throat> the notion is you're basically throwing your vote away, which I guess in a way with how things have worked in this, uh, in America at least, it might be true because, you know, it's like third parties, like independents or, uh, you know, Green Party or whatever, those kind of parties don't really win elections much you know occasionally like that's a local thing or something might have a better chance but in terms of like a presidential election or something like senate or whatever not so much um but i think that's enough for me um book uh, downtime and work conversations the three short stories i wrote is out again i'm promoting this but that's out and um I have fixed the back here about the about the author that wasn't supposed to be there, but the way that I reformatted this so that you know it's you know uh, print is bigger than before, so that way it's not super small and to a pretty much precise um, um, you know the precise. 
print and size that it originally was before reformatting it it's like that but you know this is a uh, yeah overall I'm pretty happy with how this turned out um, and um, within a day or two after this video will be out this should be updated, so that will be like up here in the middle, close to the top, basically. So, wanted to let you know. And in the link tree link, the first two things you can click on are Wandering Sheriff book, which I've shown you off here before, and downtime and work conversations. So. Hopefully you will be interested enough to check this out. Um, I already made a video or stream about that, so there you go. Just click on the channel. That'll be the, the main thing when you click on it. You can see that. So hope all of you are having an excellent day. Hope all of you are, all of your guys' weeks have been good, and I hope all of you will have a great weekend. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.